This week on The Choice. I was so looking forward to this hunt. A moose has always been on my dream list, and to get the opportunity, I couldn't have been more excited. Have you ever been part of a crazier hunt? <laughs> Hunting is not about the trophy. It's about the challenges that we face as hunters, and it is our choice how we pursue our prey. Hunting doesn't end when you spot your game. That's when the challenge begins. Closing the distance, becoming part of your surroundings, playing the wind, being patient, and waiting for that moment of truth. From the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. choice. Welcome to this week's The Choice. Yes, this week our choice is, well, going to one of the favorite spots, and that is Bob Efforts Hunting in yep. Newfoundland, the island of Moose Mania, baby. Is it really an island? Yes. Newfoundland? Is it the island of Newfoundland? Really? That's something I'm going to have to Google later. Okay, this week's Lucky Local is Hunter Safety Systems. You know, we have a lot of fun, but let's, let's be serious here for a moment, and that is, if any of you are climbing in a tree stand, if you're setting up stands, if you're going into a platform, Please, we ask you, not only for you, but your family, stay connected. From Hunter's, the ground up. Yep, Hunter Safety Systems, man, they started it, and I can't tell you how many lives they've, they've saved and how many families they've kept together. We applaud them, and we applaud you not getting in a stand without being connected. Absolutely. Okay, so if you see the logo, we'll take you to the end show with that, because someone's going to want to invest in some cool. of the great stuff. Yep, so, the life saving right. vest. Newfie. Yes, Newfie. Newfie the link. up, Northeast. Bob Effort. Going the there. Mayor. Spy point, and then you said we're gonna set up a new one. Yeah, I'm putting up in the, in, it'll be in the southeast okay, corner. Okay, do you want me to? Oh, uh, yeah, you gotta get the gate. I well, loaded uh, the buggy. Yeah, you parked awful close to the gate. How am I supposed to open it? It uh, was this way. Open it the other way. Try. You can't. There's a pole in the way. Move it. I mean, suck it up. Back do something the for the buggy up. Okay. <laughs> Jiminy. You guys know <laughs> when the voice gets like that. <laughs> On our first morning, we got up at the hotel and the front desk called us, told us that we had a taxi cab downstairs waiting on us. We hurried downstairs, got loaded up. He took us to the float plane, met up with Bob, and we were in a hurry, loaded up and took to the air. Once we got up in the air, I started looking out the window of the plane and just was awestruck by how beautiful the countryside is. Just a lot different than what I'm used to back in Ohio. We've been incorporated now for 17 years, and this is our 17th hunting season now in business. Newfoundland, obviously, the terrain is quite difficult, and uh, if one chooses to do a flying hunt, you know, it should certainly be in decent physical condition for sure. Just got finished shooting our bow here, making sure everything was on after our trip. We we're uh, getting ready to head across the lake and uh, see if we can't spot a few moose to get on this evening or possibly locate one to go after in the morning. So got the uh, Hoyt Spider. I'm gonna see what trouble we can get into. We are taking the TC just in case we come across the Booner on the first night and we don't wanna let him go. But ultimately, we're gonna try it with a bow. TC is a backup. Hunting in a new plan, you wanna find a good vantage point to uh spot your moose from. You need a good vantage point to see where the moose are hanging out so we can spot something before we decide to make an approach onto it. I mean, can you call it in or can we stock it? Is he bedded? I mean, you need to be up high to, to be able to see that. See him? That's big. Well, we've been watching this big bull across the valley with a cow and uh, we're kind of in the last couple hours of daylight here and we'd be pushed for time to get over there. So the plan is to come back here in the morning, be sitting here bright and early. Hopefully he's still in this river bottom in the morning and uh, we can get on him. He's a really good bull.
I was really excited, had a, my first moose tag in my pocket, and was just itching to go. Well, we uh, just got off the boat here, stripping down some of our uh, wind-breaking gear from, from the boat ride, and uh, we're gonna head over the hill to the river valley and see if we can get on those bulls from last night. So. standing there in the sun right now. Let's get a game plan. On our second morning, uh, shortly after daylight from the lookout, we located that bull and cow uh, from the evening before. They hadn't moved 150 yards from where we had seen them. Uh, we came up with a plan. So we're gonna head down, I don't know what that river's gonna be like to cross, but. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> we might get wet here this morning, but that's no biggie. Okay, we just located the big bull we seen last night across the valley. He's, he's in the exact same opening, he's just the opposite end of it. So we gotta go down here, cross a really cold river, <laughs> and then we're gonna go head up, try to get above him, keep the wind in our favor, get in close. He's got a cow with him that was with him last night. So probably she's coming in the heat, so we're gonna have to get close, maybe do some grunting, try to pull him in aggressively. Once you do spot a moose there, you want to keep that moose visible as much as possible. They're moving. They're at the very top, moving from right to left. They're up in that tall, they're right, he's right up in the, where the trees are. He's coming through the top of the cow's fur to the, to the left. Looks like they might be heading to bed. Um, you got a cow about 50 yards from him. He's just kind of following around behind her. So we got to go down here and find a place to cross the river. Something I learned about Newfoundland, there's, it's always wet. The bogs and trying to cross that river and keep your feet dry, well, I, I usually go a couple inches over top of my boots just about every time I'm in a river. We just got to the river here. Looks like from the glance at it, there's, it's, we're not gonna get too wet, so that's a good thing. I wasn't looking forward to swimming in 30 degree water. When we get up to the edge of the woods, where it breaks out, then we'll start making a few calls. Okay. I don't want to call until we got a visual. Right? Yeah, I don't mean it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So we'll, uh, here we go. Let's do it. We're moving. We're making good pace to get to another vantage point so you can have another look to see if that moves to stale where he was and continue your stock. <clears throat> You find, you're going through a lot of brush, a lot of black spruce, a lot of rough terrain. Like you're, we're not walking tra paths there, you're making paths as you're walking. After about three hours of hiking, we started getting close to this bull and came up with the game plan. We had to circle on his downwind side in order to uh, try to get a bow stock on him. We're gonna find a good area here to sit off. Then we'll start doing a couple calls, okay? Ah! Here. Okay, we just got to the top of the ridge. We can see the cow. We think we heard a grunt right up here. So it might be a different bull, or it might be the big bull, so. Exciting. The bull almost immediately started answering back grunting and uh, in just a couple seconds we seen him up there on the hillside moving our way and he was coming at a pretty good pace. There he is, there he is. I see him. He's right there. He's coming, he's coming. Yes, he's right up there. Unfortunately, he, uh, he ran into his cow and uh, decided he wasn't going to come any further and turned back up the hill to her. After the bull and the cow went out of sight, we moved around on the hillside trying to find him, and uh, we located him bedded in the wide open uh, approximately 250 yards across the valley. Okay, the big bull we've been chasing, we located him yesterday. He's bedded down for the afternoon over here, about 250 yards, so we gotta 
approach figured out, and uh, we're gonna try to sneak in on him. We might end up taking him with the TC if he busts us, so. Bow first, TC second. <laughs> As we got into about 80 yards of the bull, uh, we were getting ready to do our final stock on him with the bow, and the cow was bedded in between he and us, and she she nailed us. She jumped up and trotted off up the hill a little bit, and the bull stood up, and uh, I grabbed the TC because we knew the, uh, the bow was out of the question at this point, and he was a great bull. But unfortunately, instead of walking left or walking right, he turned and went trotting straight up the hill away from us, offering no shot at all. After that bull got up and turned directly away from us, there was three dejected hunters coming back across that river and back to the lookout to glass. We glassed there all evening, saw a few more moose, but nothing big. Well, at daybreak on day four, we found ourselves back at the lookout and we spotted a, a herd of moose approximately four miles away and one was a great bull. We watched him for several hours and he ended up bedding with a cow at a great place where we could possibly put a stock on him. We're probably about 175 yards from the rock now, which means we're about 180 from the bull. So we're gonna ease up here, try to get a good spot and see if if it's an option is stock with a bow, or if we're just gonna set up with a rifle. You can see the bull. Cow's up. It's 240. He's moving. Just a little high. There he's down. You got him. Hey. Oh. Beauty. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Z. Awesome. Man, that was awesome. We came in this morning and spotted these bulls from probably four miles away. We made an approach, and we no more than get here. And we were going to try it with a bow, but we ran out of terrain, and then the, the cow stood up. I don't know if she. I don't know, it's like she had a sixth sense, but uh, I used the TC, knocked him down. That's my first bull. We're at the very tail end of the rut here, and we've seen this guy from probably three miles away this morning, and he bedded down with a cow, and we spent all day getting to him. We got up here and, and ran out of cover, and the cow stood up, and uh, she started leaving. He got up and we put the TC to him. A little bit further than we wanted to shoot, but uh, you know, a bull like this, I wasn't gonna let him walk. Beautiful bull. Weather is another big factor in Newfoundland. You're not gonna have days like this every day. Uh, there's weeks where you're not gonna have a day like this, so you always gotta take that into consideration when you come to Newfoundland for a hunt. While we were stuck in camp that day, Kay made some great caribou hors d'oeuvres, uh, little strips of tenderloin wrapped in bacon, baked in the oven. At two o'clock, we got out and started spotting for bulls. We saw nothing, tomorrow might be my day to fill my moose tag. Day six, we woke to a perfect morning. We got to the lookout, we saw several moose on the hillside, but Tyler had spotted a bull down below us, maybe a mile and a half out, made a few calls, and the bull actually started coming our way. We've been sitting on the lookout all morning, watching bulls all the way on the other ridge, bulls and cows. Tyler gave a cow call. We had a nice bull come out. He acts like he's coming to the calls. Tyler's gonna keep calling, maybe we'll get him close enough for a shot right here at the lookout. As we were waiting on one bull, we heard our grunt behind us, and Tyler turned and seen a really nice bull standing there at 65 yards. He already knew something was wrong, 
and he wasn't coming any closer, and he circled up the hill to get downwind. We gotta try. Let's just slip up real quick. He's running. He's running. He got our wind. Hopefully we didn't booger the original bull. We started calling to that bull. This bull popped up about 50 yards around the rock. We got up, he was a nice bull too. I couldn't get a clear shot. I'd have possibly wounded him. So we let him go that way. We might still have a bull over here. All three of us settled back in behind the rock, hopefully that the little fiasco that we just had with that bull didn't bother the original bull we had coming. Tyler made a few cow calls and we couldn't see the bull on the hillside below us, but we knew he was coming our way. He's right there, 200 yards probably. You see the stuff moving, he's raking. Boy, he's I can hear him down there long. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple readings. Let me, if he comes out right there, it's 50 yards, 40 yards. Yeah, he should either come up to this valley or yeah. to that park. He's gonna come right out there to us. You ready, David? He's coming right at us. Ready? Yeah. Tyler had spotted a bull down below us, maybe a mile and a half out, made a few calls, and the bull actually started coming our way. He's gonna come right out there to us. You ready, David? He's coming right at us. Ready? Sure, he's done. <sighs> Have you ever been part of a crazier hunt? <laughs> That's awesome. What a stunt. We saw this bull all the way across that bog. We got him coming down into the river. We had another bull come around the corner. You got him on camera too. We chased him over the hill, couldn't get a clear shot. We come back, we said, let's give this one a couple calls. And he walks out at 40 yards, <laughs> hammered him twice, and he's down, he's 30 yards from me down. <laughs> high five, buddy, high five. Good, what a great hunt. That's amazing. <laughs> what a great morning. Dude, that is a stunt. What a, what an awesome, awesome animal. We're coming down today. We're supposed to have some really nasty weather coming in in a couple days. And this morning was just our day to have it. Damien's moose was an old mature bull, 45 inches wide, and this one's gonna be close. Just two great mature bulls here with Bob. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Memories for sure. Gotta thank Bob Efford, Tyler, Damien for putting up with me for six days. And now, now the work begins. We got a thousand pound animal down about a mile from the boat. So, but it's better than six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what an amazing wilderness hunt. We had a great guide, amazing cook, tons of animals and beautiful weather. Every night coming back to camp, Kay had a great meal on, the wood burner cranked, which really helped dry our clothes. The people here in Newfoundland are super friendly and gracious people and uh, couldn't have made the experience any better. Bob F. Newfoundland, Ca woodland caribou, moose, black bear. It's hard to beat. That's, you know what? It's a great place to go. All the different critters, like you said, moose, woodland caribou, black bear, all kinds of stuff. What a great trip. We it need is. to go soon, right? Yeah, we're going it's this year. Turn? Okay. It's Good. our turn. Bob, we're coming up there to visit you soon. I we're ready. Yep. I am ready. Okay, if you happen to see Hunter Safety System, which was a lucky logo, the ultimate in keeping your hunters alive and Absolutely. safe. Absolutely. Um, you're going to log on to thechoicetv.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to get a hunter safety system. And a bunch vest, of other goodies. Lifelines and a whole bunch of other goodies. Absolutely. Yes. Next now, ne week? next week is a totally different thing. It's a two part show, and we're actually heading to Montana to yep. the Crow Nation. And we are hunting one of the one of the very few wild bison herds. American bison. With Ralph, RJ the and Crow. I. How yeah. cool is that? It is, and it's a, it's, it's a great adventure that we went on. And there's all, I mean, it's a two-part show. You guys are going to love it. So 
We need to go. What else we gotta do? We got other trail cameras we gotta go check, other spy points? I'll get it all, don't worry. Please do. I'll do it all. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Why don't you get the gate? Really? Why don't you do something? Yeah. You get the gate.